The Godfreds Foundation got its inspiration from, from Godfred, a, a young boy in Sanase. I'm Mike Allison, and I was introduced to Sanase and to Fred through my wife Barbara, who attended Semester at Sea as a lifelong learner. And in that voyage, uh, she met uh, Fred Benna. We went to the school in the village of Akatin, which is a very poor school. And I was really surprised by the conditions that the children were being educated in. Uh, the school building was nothing but a wooden structure, um, no school supplies. There was no running water on the property. Education in villages like Snase and the rest of it in Ghana seems to be like a punishment for we the children experiencing it. Because to us, education is not fun. To us, education is something that you're forced into it. Imagine a child in Akatim walking for two hours from his home to school. We were being punished for not paying school fees. Meanwhile, the problem is not from us. One of the things that struck me most is that visiting with the teachers, um, they were very discouraged by trying to educate these students whose families were mostly farmers and didn't have education themselves. Speaking to some of the teachers, they told me they don't even give homeworks at this point because the kids can't do it due to lack of electricity or lamps in their homes. Simply put, what we take for granted in the Western education system is not possible in Ghana. Being a victim of the education in these rural villages has motivated me as a person to do the best that I can to change this environment. So when I was traveling in Ghana with Fred, I got to know him very well and was just so impressed by just how bright and um, how much energy he had and how determined he was to make a difference in the lives of other children, the people in his community. And um, when he had an opportunity to go to Halt in London, I was determined that we were going to get him here so that he could eventually use his education to help other people. Getting the opportunity to study abroad, I've seen a great difference between education abroad and education in my country, Ghana. He also started right away to give back to others by sponsoring this young boy named Godfred. And the way Godfred got to the best school was because of Fred and having a sponsor, someone who was willing to pay the funds for uniforms, for the school fees, for the supplies. And when I just visited Ghana recently, I was able to meet Godfred, visit his school, meet his teachers, and he is one of the top in his class and is thriving in this wonderful school that he's in now. So the idea behind the Godfreds Foundation is to make many Godfreds. We want to go out there and give these people with no hope a better future. We have already taken the first step and bought the land to prepare for the construction of the Godfreds Foundation. Ultimately, we want to provide a society in Ghana where children have the opportunity to discover their passion, learn how to communicate, learn how to follow their dreams, and how to deal with challenges ahead of them. We have taken the first step and we want to take the next step with you.